primera. We are going to do one, I mean, 2.1.3, where we are preparing the production cost statement for the year ended 28th of February, 2023. I need to bring to your attention what we have already done. We have already calculated direct material cost. This is from the second video which is 888,300. We've already calculated factory overheads, which amounted to 570,650. And you needed to, I've, I've taught, if you watch my videos on manufacturing, I have, taught you the production cost statement using two different methods. For this one, you had to use the other method, not the one that has blogs. So what is this other method that probably most of you do not know? You will start with your direct material cost. And this one, we took it from 2.1.1, which was 888,300. When you add it with direct labor cost, you will get your prime cost. So 888,300 plus 408,600 will give you 1,296,900. To prime cost. You will add factory overheads. I've just shown you factory overheads, which amounted to 570,650. It'll give you your total cost of production, which will be 1,867,550. Then you have to add work in progress at the beginning of the financial year. That one will require me to go back to my information booklet and look for work in progress. You will notice that work in progress at the beginning of the year was zero and work in progress at the end of the year was 235,500. In progress at the beginning of the year, we will therefore put zero. And for work in progress at the end of the year, note that this was given to you. For work in progress at the end of the year, you will have 235,000. Now that 235,000, do we show it with brackets or without brackets? We show it with brackets. These are unfinished goods that will not be finished. So that's why we subtract in them. Because in this note, we are simply calculating the cost of finished goods. And that 235,000 represents goods that are unfinished. That is why we subtract it. And by taking 1,867,550 and minusing the work in progress, which is the cost of unfinished goods, you will be left with cost of production of finished goods, which will amount to 1,634,050. And that is it. Uh, please check out the next video for 2.1.4. Hotzo.